see me? I see you. What's going on, ladies and gents? Dal, we're here for T3G, along oh, with my wife. No. <laughs> this is not a good angle for me. This is not a, it's not a good angle for you to fix the I angle. Feel like this. Okay, you can be like that. My wife apparently does not feel like she is uh, meant for this angle. I don't ever feel like I'm meant for this angle. I look like I'm pregnant. I look like I'm six months pregnant in this bitch. Uh, we are heading into the city. Uh, we had to cancel our trip to, oh, is it, oh, yeah, it was Ohio, Dayton, Ohio. Uh, we had, we had a, a gracious invitation from uh, Amanda Gilliam, Gil, Gilliam, Gilliam? I can't pronounce people's names. Uh, I've, I've read it so many times, I just, when I verbalize it, I, I, I had words. There's a, there's an artist, uh, there's just a fantastic artist, uh, Ashley, See, I'm going to mess it up because I think I've added letters so many times into her last name. I think it's Whittier or Witter. I don't, I just, I think it's Witter. But I think I, in my head, somehow made it Whittier when I first read it. So I just, for the longest time, read it that way. So when I read her name at a show, I was like, I don't think that's, I'm like, I don't think that's her. But I saw her posters and I was like, no, 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 that's definitely her. How the hell did I add an extra letter? So I do that a lot with people's names for some reason. But we had a gracious invitation uh, to go and check out. The, there was a podcasting panel. We were really excited. Had a bit of an emergency. Had to come back around. And um, everything's okay. But uh, we, well, that car is messed up. Somebody's, I was somebody's burning oil hardcore. Um, but yeah, so uh, today my wife is going to pick up her race pack, race materials. Race packet for the Shamrock Shuffle 8K in downtown Chicago. Yeah. So we have to go to the south side to McCormick Place to pick up the packets. Uh, and yeah. we're going to get chicken and waffles first. Hell yeah, chicken and waffles. I'm starving. Uh, uh, I was doing No Sugar March. Uh, I kind of failed at it. I mean, it was around like Lent time. I don't do Lent, but my friends and I decided to uh, try and forego as much added sugar as possible and for the first two weeks I wasn't doing the best at it But the last two weeks I rocked it and so it ended yesterday And I had Swedish pancakes for lunch and then I had three scoops of ice cream for dinner And I felt like I could take over the world, but then I felt like a fat ass So I went to the gym and now I'm gonna do an 8k so I'm gonna earn those chicken and waffles today And uh, I for two three solid months have not had any fast food. Um, and I, that's for me no, as any. Three months. Did you start January? Yeah, three, three solid months. Oh, I think it's said two. Uh, three months I haven't had anything. So December 31st was the last time I had food. Oddly enough, it was Portillo's. And yesterday was the first time I've had uh, fast food, and it was Portillo's. Uh, because and I tried to eat the Portillo's, but I couldn't because I got um, <laughs> I got Invisalign like about two and a half weeks ago, and uh, for the most part, it just kind of is like this dull sort of pain. But when you take them off, they really hurt, and I can't bite into things. So I tried to eat the sandwich, like I gave it my best effort, but she I did. just I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I can't chew. Uh, but yeah, so in March, uh, I added no. Uh, well, as little carbs as, as possible, uh, being that we're still in the middle of, I don't want, I kind of don't want to call it renovations, but like we just moved into a house, we're still working on stuff, our kitchen is not fully equipped with groceries, we're almost there, we're like, like I'd say like 40% there to being fully stocked for groceries, so uh, I haven't been able to, to cook, so we've e eaten out a lot. Which means, essentially for me, it means a lot of omelets um, and skillets because just about everything else has bread. Uh, I think I had a burger twice and like a wrap once or twice. Uh, so then yesterday I joined in with the Swedish pancakes for lunch and the delicious, delicious portillos for dinner. Uh, I'm still... Well, no, it's like three-fourths of mine. And then uh, <laughs> I will still i will still be avoiding carbs for the most part. Um, I'm just not going to be as stringent with it. I won't be eating omelets and skillets everywhere I go. I'll, uh, I'll have a few wraps, a few more wraps here and there. But uh, I'm still definitely more conscious of it. I'm going to decline any 
uh, you know, like a, when they bring the bread to your table, I'm gonna decline that. Uh, that was the first couple times that was really hard. I say, uh, no bread, please. And they kind of look at you weird. Especially because, yeah. like, we love bread and butter. Yeah, I mean, so. where, where I'm from and where she's visited, uh, like, we're Eastern European by, by, by genetics. So, like, like, I think we're part bread. So, like, it's, it's one of those things that if, if you're, if you're not eating bread, you're not enjoying life. Regardless, we're going to the city to pick up this packet. So, we're on 290 now in, like, the spot that always backs up, but it's not as bad as it always is. And, uh, yeah, just uh, figured I'd do a vlog. Hottest has been doing all these vlogs and having all these adventures, so I figured I'd uh, do one of my own. And, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we, kind of shenanigans we can get into today. So I am actually uh, headed to see my mom for dinner, and then I'll be doing some editing tonight. Uh, a lot of driving today, a lot of driving. Uh, this will probably be a two-day vlog just because we're doing the race tomorrow morning, and I'll need something to do while I wait for my wife to go and run eight kilometers, like on purpose, and she paid somebody to do it. Like that's, I don't understand the mentality of some people. <laughs> Anybody who races in these organized races, why? Tell me why. This is asinine. Whoever does this, whoever does this butt crack race stuff, why? Why do you do this? It's cold. I'm doubled up here. And now I gotta go lock the door. This shot does not exist if uh, this race doesn't happen because I'm literally in the middle of the street. But it's it's a beautiful city. I don't know why, but I really like the Congress Hotel. These shots don't exist without races like this. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so this is the third day of this vlog. I'm here with Otis and Dan, who is our third guy for the day. <laughs> That's going to be a new category, third guy for the day. I didn't even know he was doing this vlog, guys. Um, I've been doing it since I went to the race and we went to pick up her packet information and all that stuff. So we are here at Gurney Mills. I've never actually been to Gurney Mills. We're meeting with a friend of ours uh, for some business stuff. And, uh, uh, and it's cold out because of Chicago. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's not that bad, though. It's, it could definitely it was, be worse. It, it could be worse. It was 60 degrees yesterday. So it could be worse. So the fact that it's 40 today and it was 60 yesterday, it's, it's cold. This is true. I wore a jacket for yesterday. I could have been without my hoodie. This is true. This is true. But, you know, you that's know, uh, the life of... Welcome to, that's, welcome to Chicago. That's Chicago area life, yeah. This is like the fourth day in this vlog. Uh, this is just kind of like a, a random vlog. We're gonna call it a random vlog. Uh, I just switched out the router at my ma's apartment, and uh, now her internet works again. Now I have even more stuff in my electronics recycling box. Got a few more things to add from from the house, and then uh, probably gonna make that run on Monday. And. Uh, Kind of show that place off. Uh, might end, that might be where I end this vlog. This, that, that might be the journey. The journey to finally recycle all this crap in my trunk. your local comic stores god damn it going to pick up the uh the latest earth one book uh wonder woman uh, buys you unground coffee only you have to go to starbucks because your grinder is somewhere in all of your moving boxes skull awful lighting in my my library yeah uh, i just wanted to throw up this this was brilliant absolutely brilliant um, great read a wonderful retelling of Wonder Woman's origin and I kind of hope the movies like this yeah this is pretty damn good what'd you guys know about that Chicago life this is what we wake up to you see the size of those snowflakes it's like pre-made snowballs falling come on now got some spinach some bananas, some leftover cheese, a bag of vegetables, I'm making soup. To just give you guys an idea of what we're working with right now in the garage. This is everything. This is where our stuff is. <laughs> I just had to rearrange half the garage to find a few boxes. Specifically, the box on top right there, which is labeled knives, so I can make my soup, because I needed knives to, uh, to cut all my ingredients specifically my chicken so as I fall and die here on camera <laughs> yeah this is this is where we're at still got some painting to do and those are floors I'm debating whether to do those this year or next year yay so here are the ingredients prior to being made now I've got the the range tops actually in the dishwasher right now cleaning 
but I'm going to prep. So I've got my potatoes. It's kind of my base for my soup. My protein, my veggies. I got some spinach. And uh, if you guys ever do some cooking, some dicing, this thing looks real dumb. It really does. It looks like the worst $15, 20 whatever it was. But it's actually the best $15 or $20 you'll spend because it's one of those as seen on TV items. But it is the fastest way to dice potatoes, onions, whatever you want. It's super simple. I love that thing. <laughs> it was it's one of those impulse buys. I love to buy stupid gadgets. This is the best kitchen gadget I've bought. But yeah, this is how much we're making. Weeks, two weeks worth, who knows? Yeah, when we make soup around here, we're serious. Not a whole lot of audio or <laughs> rather not a whole lot of store not a whole lot of storage space left on this phone because I keep forgetting to offload. But uh, I think this is where we're going to close it out. I'm going to actually go and drop off this electronics recycling, uh, grab some breakfast with Hottis, and uh, call it a call it a vlog, and basically call it a day since I I work at 1:30 to 10:30 at night. So that's basically my day. So yeah, uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe and all that good stuff. And yeah, maybe I'll do shorter vlogs next time. But yeah, see ya.